So Web3, NFTs, and Sueda. Let's get into it. What's going on everyone? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jared Mirabili and I am the owner and the creator behind the brand Sueda. I have been in the design industry more than 25 years. And in that time, I've had the privilege to work with some of the greatest brands on the planet. Brands like Harley Davidson and Nike, brands like Monster Energy, Marvel, Optic Gaming, 100 Thieves, Universal Studios, and the list goes on and on. And it has been and continues to be an amazing privilege. When you spend that much time in this industry, you're also introduced and have the privilege to work with some of the most amazing artists. You work with them so closely that eventually they end up becoming your friends. It has been a privilege to not only be introduced to these brands and get to work for them, but to also build and forge relationships with these other highly innovative and highly creative artists. In addition to that, I've also been introduced to amazing manufacturers, building products that are innovative and new. I've had the opportunity to work and collaborate with them to bring some of those products to market. So what does all that mean? Web3, NFTs, and Sueda. So I was introduced to NFTs probably a little over two years ago, and I was highly intrigued, but at the same time, I felt like something was missing in that space. If you know anything about me, you know that the quality of art or the products that I produce are going to either be the highest quality and they're gonna be innovative or I just won't put any effort into it. I'd rather not do something unless it was gonna be of excellence. And this was gonna be no different. If I was gonna move into the space, it just couldn't be just the art. It had to be the utility and the team. For me, it was an all or nothing. So let's talk about the roadmap and the three phases. So my phase one is a Genesis drop. It is five distinctly unique drops. Each one has a 20 supply, so it's 100 tokens total. But I just didn't wanna do 100 supply. Everything had to be different. The art had to be some of the best art that I've ever produced, and that's what I worked hard on. But then I wanted to marry it with great merchandise. So I thought it was time. It was time for me to leverage the 25 plus years of experience and all of these great manufacturers that I had come into contact with to develop products uniquely different to bring into the market. Great, tangible products for each one of the drops. But I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to make sure the art, the tangible goods were great, but the utility, and I'll speak more on the utility in phase three, but the utility had to be for me, those 100 tokens, anybody who grabbed one of those tokens, it had to be great for life. Everything we did in the future, I wanted that person, that individual, to continue to benefit and benefit and benefit. Okay, so phase two, that's my generative drop, and that's called We Are Tigers. Tigers for the Sueda brand have always been a hallmark. It has always communicated my vision, passion, quality, power. I wanted to take that same aesthetic that I've had in my brand and in the design industry, and I wanted to move that into NFTs. As I looked into the industry and I saw all these generative drops, the first thing that struck me was after about 100, they all started to look boring. They all started to look the same. They all started to look like somebody gave up. And like I said, if I was going to do this, that was not gonna happen. So I labored and labored. I did as many traits and as many design elements as I possibly could to ensure that each one of them, they had to look different. They had to be strong and independent, but they also had to be cohesive to the whole. That's phase two. Phase three. Phase three is by far the most exciting. Phase three is where I get to take that 25 years of working in this industry 
and the hundreds upon hundreds of artists that I've had the privilege to work with and onboard them. What would it look like if I took all of those relationships, some of the most innovative and talented artists on the planet in the design industry and introduced them to Web3 and NFTs? What would it look like if I brought them in? And not just the artists. What would it look like if I brought the companies that I've had the opportunity to work with? See, in my position, you get to work with some of the decision makers in these larger brands. What would it look like if I just not only brought the artists, but the brands into the Web3 and NFT space? Okay, so this is how phase one, phase two, and phase three are all linked. So anybody who holds one of the tokens, one of the drops from phase one, the first thing they get is three free from my phase two, immediately. They get three free airdropped NFTs of the We Are Tigers. Phase three, any artist, any one of the hundreds of artists that I've built relationships with and that we onboard, you'll get something from them. No matter what they do, if they do a 10,000 supply, you'll get some of that for free. If they do a 5,000 supply and tangible goods, whatever that artist presents, you will be a part of that. You will benefit from that. And not just the artists, all of these other brands that I've worked so closely with, I've had the opportunity to get into the decision makers. If we bring any of them into this space as well, you benefit. However they introduce themselves into Web3 or NFTs, whatever they bring to market, that phase one token, you benefit from it. Phase one, Genesis drops. Phase two, generative. And phase three, as many artists, as many brands, and as many manufacturers as we can possibly bring to the Web3 and NFT space. All right, to wrap it up, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to all the people already following us in Discord, on Twitter, or on Instagram. Your encouragement, your comments, your feedback, it means everything to us. If you have any other questions, hit us up on any one of those, and we'll be more than happy to get back with you.